friends, welcome to my channel. Today is day three of my spring blitz and I'm sharing with you some happy mail, uh, a happy mail process video. I'm using here the uh, Maggie Holmes carousel collection for my paper. I'm sorry you don't get to see much of this, but basically it's just me making envelopes. So I make three different envelopes using my We Are Memory Keepers punch board. Um, it's very, very, very easy to use. And I basically just glued the backs of the envelopes, all to, not the backs, the, um, the flaps of the envelopes together. And then I put some crepe paper there on the side. I've layered up some oh, from all different collections, actually, that chipboard in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. The chipboard in the middle is from her newest collection, Flourish. The ballerina, the acetate ballerina, I think that's from maybe Chasing Dreams. That grow is from Bloom. Um, I think that butterfly is from Chasing Dreams, but it's um, from the sticker book. So all sorts of collections being used here, which is fun. I'm going to use some black uh, paint splatters. I've been kind of feeling a little uninspired lately with um, Happy Mail, so I'm just starting to get back into my groove. Uh, so yeah, that's how that front looks, and I think I do add something later on. So you can see how I made it into a little book um, with uh, by gluing the flaps together. I don't know what else to call it. Um, and I think that looks quite fun. I love that yellow floral paper, and I was kind of scared to use it, but then I was like... If I don't use it now, then it's just going to stay in my stash. And also, she always comes out with some new floral paper. So there's always going to be a new floral paper. And I'm, I can't hoard them all because then that's just sad. So I decided to layer some different pieces together. We've got that love, which is from Shine. And that yellow, which is from Flourish. And I think that pink one must have been from like Chasing Dreams or something. I don't know. But I'm just kind of combining all the collections together and getting rid of a bunch of my stuff, which feels fantastic to use it up and to enjoy it. That peacock is from Flourish. And this is one of the first times using that collection for me, I think. I'm going through the sticker book and finding little embellishments to add here and there. It was an interesting like little dynamic here because you've got one side that's the envelope side with the pocket and the other side which is just a blank rectangle to do whatever you like. So there was lots of space to work with and I can't wait to fill it with goodies and send it to a pen pal. I didn't really have anyone in mind yet. Um, but I have a spot where I put all of my pre-made happy mail and then once I get mail from someone and I am going to send them mail back, then I personalize it and I fill it with goodies I think they'll like and a letter and all that fun stuff. So I felt it needed a little bit something more, so I added some doodly borders with my pen and it's just a regular old black pen. I don't know what it's from. And then some black um, like paint splatter kind of thing. And I started with that right side just because it was easier because it was more space and there was more room to work with. So that's why I started there. On the other side, I'm going to use this big hello. I hon honestly don't know where it's from. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry I can't tell you that. But I do add that black arrow on the other side because I wanted more of that black foam and to just have it be like cohesive and stuff like that. Um, all right, so next I add this big chipboard bird, which I think is from Chasing Dreams, if I'm not mistaken. I've said it before, but I have all of my Maggie Home stuff together. So you can see, you can see in that little box there that I'm just going through all of the Maggie Holmes things that I have and seeing what might work. It's kind of like a tough space to work with. Didn't really know how to make it look nice, but I try. <laughs> so you have to let me know what you think. Um, just auditioning different pieces and I decided to go along with that bird theme and added a bird up there. <laughs> don't know why I have so many birds, but that's just the way it worked out. So I went along with it. 
The nice thing about that sticker sheet is you will never run out of florals. There are lots of florals on it, which I think is a big reason why people like the Maggie Holmes collections because of the flowers that she has. So if you're a big Maggie Holmes fan like I am, you will love the sticker book because it you'll yeah, you'll never run out of florals, which is fantastic. And I'm going again with the black all around. But I felt like it still needed more. I just kind of wanted to add anything and everything and just make it full of embellishments and stickers. And then, of course, finishing it off with some enamel dots to complete it. And I don't really know what I'm reaching for now, <laughs> but hopefully it's something good. Oh, paper towel. That's boring. That wasn't anything good. <laughs> All right. So here's the next page, which is actually kind of like the last page. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to add something here. Oh yeah. I thought I added something up there because it looked a little bare. All right. So moving on to the next one. Um, yes, I know those Ferris wheels are upside down, but I don't really care at this point. It's just the way it's going to be, and that's fine. All right, what am I going to do? going to do some layering, I think. Um, let me know how you guys are liking this spring blitz so far. I know it's only day three, but um, I'm hoping you're liking it. I'm trying to do a really good variety of videos, so it's not like... You're seeing the same kind of videos over and over again, but let me know what kind of videos you want to see. I'm going to be doing um, a giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that. And I'm also going to do a questions and answers video, so if you have any questions, please feel free to put them down below. Um, yeah, so don't hesitate to ask me anything, whether it's my personal life or my crafty life. I'm open to any questions. And I'm going to use some of these florals. I think they were from like the open book collection or something. She had this giant pack of florals. Um, and yeah, so I think that's what that is from. Sorry that it's like having trouble focusing. I hope that doesn't bother you too much. And now it's okay now that I said that, of course. <laughs> but sometimes it like has a little bit of trouble. So yeah. Oh, well, what can you do? I'm not perfect. <laughs> um, I'm going through a sticker book because that is great when I feel a little stumped because there's so many different size stickers, so many different colors from all of her collections from, I think it's from like Bloom until uh, Chasing Dreams or something like that. So quite a bit of her collections are all there. So you've got Chasing Dreams You've, oh, yeah, because Carousel's not in there. So you've got Chasing Dreams, you got Bloom, you've got, um, wow, I can't, I don't know, I can't go through all our collections that I can remember. Uh, Gather, Gather's in there. I can't remember what else, but you've definitely got those three collections in there. So if you like those, the, the stickers match very well. So now I'm just going to fit in these little inserts. So that it's not, so it's not a white blank space there. And I did it in a horrible way where I got glue everywhere on that other page, but whatever, <laughs> I can just wipe it off. But the, ne the next time I do it in a little different way. So I was using the scraps of uh, from the envelopes, which is great, because then I could use those up as much as I can. And I don't have just little scraps lying around, so that's always good. So I'm going to put the glue down first and then the little paper insert. And I don't need to make it as big as the envelope because you don't see down there. So yeah, and I think that really finishes it off and makes it feel complete and no blank spots. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to take some washi tape and put it down the sides uh, so you can't see the creases. This tape is from Hobby Lobby. I got it probably like a year or two ago. It's really cute. It's a little bit see-through, but it's really cute with the little hearts on it. I think it's pretty. 
So you can see I put other embellishments there. Sorry, the camera must have timed out, but you can see all the little stickers and embellishments that I put right there. So hopefully that's not an issue. Um, oh no, my cat. Don't pause the... <laughs> Don't pause the video. She likes to pause the video. All right, so I'm also going to layer some stickers, or not stickers, some uh, washi tape on, and I think that looks nice just to have the different, um, I don't know, just to use up my washi tape. It takes me forever to use it up. Oh, Harvey, my cat's just wanting attention. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of, oh, she just jumped off the desk. I'm gonna put a little bit of black washi tape here and there. Um, and it's not the greatest quality tape, I noticed. It was starting to peel off already, which is kind of frustrating, but it's cute tape, so I can't complain too much. But there's a lot of black on that page and, and it didn't like, it felt like it wasn't all tying together, like there wasn't a lot of black elsewhere. So I th thought it looked nice to add it here and there to draw your eyes all the way around the page. See, it wasn't sticking very well. It's kind of frustrating. That's okay though. I just keep finding more spots to put it. <laughs> and it never ends. I don't decorate the back just because I didn't think it was really necessary and I thought it looked just fine like that. So yeah, there it is completed. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're feeling inspired. It's kind of a little bit different than I've done before, but I had fun making it. Here are some final pictures. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for the rest of my 27 days of uh, my spring blitz. So stay tuned for lots more videos, good variety coming at you. And I hope you are having a wonderful day. Bye.